Hello friends, this is a clinical case based discussion. So let's see what the case is and let's discuss it. A 10 year old boy presents with painless hematuria and intermittent fever. A painless hematuria and you know what's hematuria? Blood in urine, hematuria. So, uh, or hematuria, whatever way you want to pronounce it. X-ray KUB is normal, within normal limits or NAD, no abnormality detected. So, probably physician was thinking about, uh, uh, what is KUB? Kidney, ureter, bladder. And probably the physician was thinking about uh, the stones, renal stones or bladder stones. But it's not the case. Uh, the, uh, the stones are not there, at least not seen on X-ray. A uh, hemat report. Now this is important. RBC count 3.6 million per cubic millimeter and plasma albumin 3.6 grams per cent. So what could be the most probable diagnosis? And the options given are a urethral stricture. It could be uh, it could result in uh, hematuria, blood in urine, possibly. Or is it urolithiasis or nephrolithiasis, renal stones or Alport syndrome or is it diabetic nephropathy? Let's discuss it threadbare and understand what the case is. Symptoms already seen. Uh, RBC count is less. This is anemia and even plasma protein concentration or albumin concentration also is less. It should be in the range of 4 to 4.5 grams per cent. Now that being said, uh, this will be, these will be the options if it's a neat PG MCQ and if it's at the first prof level, then these could be the questions. Uh, what is the probable diagnosis? Probable cause of manifestations and pathophysiology of this particular disease. Let's uh, figure out what is the diagnosis. First of all, uh, urethral stricture. Is it possible to have a urethral uh, stricture in this case? Yes, possible, but it would be a painful urination and painful hematuria. This case is painless hematuria and therefore we can keep this option aside for now, uh, less likely. Nephrolithiasis or urolithiasis, uh, I mean stone in the kidney or in the bladder. Well, uh, the stones, yes, possibly and stones causing infection and therefore fever, etc. But uh, at least they were not detected on KUV. X-ray KUB. So, uh, even that, I mean, stones are of two types, uh, radio-opaque or radio-lucent, uh, but stones were not found. So, let's keep this aside for now. And diabetic nephropathy, is it possible? Yes, it could be, but age is against this possibility. You know why? Because uh, it's a 10-year-old boy and you know diabetes is a disease of duration. I mean, uh, longer the duration, more likely to be the complications. So, complications appear after 20 years of uh, diabetes duration. And therefore, even that can be safely ruled out for now. And therefore, what is left is the Alport syndrome. And that's the diagnosis uh, for this particular case given on, I mean, based on the given data. Let's understand this in detail now. Okay, so what is Alport's disease? Before we discuss that or Alport syndrome, uh, there is a defect in type 4 collagen in the glomerular basement membrane. Defect in the type 4 collagen in the glomerular basement membrane. So, it is a defect of collagen. Uh, now, basically, what is glomerular basement membrane? You can see here that there is a uh, glomerular capillary uh, capillary shown here. These are the glomerular capillaries, the glomerular shown here. 
and if I enlarge this, then this is a single glomerular capillary and the glomerular filtration barrier is shown here. The endothelial cells, then there is a basement membrane on which there are these endothelial cells are, cells are based and then the epithelial cells that is podocytes. So that's a glomerular filtration barrier. Now this basement membrane of the glomerular capillaries, it has collagen. So these are the components of glomerular basement membrane, endothelial cells, basement membrane and the food processes of podocytes as we saw in the diagram. Now there is a type 4 collagen and it's a major component of the glomerular basement membrane. Here in the basement membrane there is type 4 collagen in this uh, basement membrane. Blood flows through this uh, capillary like this and there is filtration into the Bowman space. You know that already. But we are concentrating on this glomerular basement membrane. So, type 4 collagen is a major component of this membrane. And this type 4 collagen is encoded by a gene called as COL 4A5. COL for collagen, of course. COL 4A5. This gene encodes the type 4 collagen. Now, there is X-linked mutation in this particular gene called 4A5. And because of this X-linked mutation in the gene, there is defective type 4 collagen in the glomerular basement membrane. And this, uh, in that case, what happens is that uh, the glomerular basement membrane fails to serve as an effective filtration barrier. Look, uh, basement membrane uh, is serving as an effective filtration barrier. Some sub substances, they do get filtered out, whereas the cells and the proteins do not get filtered normally through, the, through this uh, filtration barrier. But now, the filtration barrier is defective and therefore, the cells and the plasma proteins will get filtered out and uh, they will come into the Bowman's capsule and even lost into the urine. So, loss of blood cells into the urine and that is why there is hematuria in this particular case and of course, there is also anemia because uh, RBCs were lost into the urine. Therefore, uh, RBC count was less, there is anemia and loss of proteins. So, uh, proteins have been lost into the urine because of this defective uh, filtration barrier. So, uh, plasma albumin was hardly 3.6 grams per cent because it has been lost into the urine. And uh, it leads to progressive glomerulonephritis. And that was the reason for even fever in this particular patient. So, this is a typical case of Alport's syndrome. Uh, just remember, Alport's syndrome is uh, the defect in the uh, type 4 collagen in the glomerular basement membrane and it results in loss of proteins, loss of blood cells and RBCs into the urine and uh, the resultant glomerulonephritis and other manifestations.